if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on Phys thank you very much hello everyone assalamu alaikum and good morning I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokhar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing the autopsy, this is the 33rd lecture on the autopsy. As I mentioned in my previous lecture on the autopsy suit, that the contents were mostly taken from the book of the father of forensic medicine in Pakistan, late Professor Naseeba Rawan Sahib. And the article which was published in the Annals of King Edward Medical University, July, September 2019, volume 25, third issue. And the first author was the Malik A.R. et al. And the autopsy suit, as I mentioned that the autopsy lab is the part of autopsy suit. And from the previous lecture, we have started discussion on the autopsy suit or autopsy lab. Continuing with this topic, and in this lecture, the learning objective will be that we will learn the basic essential layout of the autopsy suit as reception area, registration area, storage, autopsy lab, and other offices. So standard autopsy suit and essential layout, as we have discussed these in previous lecture, administrative area, registration area, storage, autopsy conducting lab, specimen handling area, and wing gallery, mobile X-ray unit, forensic photography, body identification area, and miscellaneous. So continuing with the lecture, about the reception and registration area. A 14 into 16 square feet room for the reception and registration should be built near the main entrance gate with the vehicle parking area for the escorting police and public waiting area with toilet facilities. Then the mortuary supervisor room, a 12 into 14 square feet room, square feet room with open working windows present near the cold storage for the receiving inquest papers and documentation of the details in a register for maintenance of the record is essential. Then pre topsy room or the cold storage. The size of this room depends upon the number of dead bodies being received annually for the storage and autopsy purposes. And this is a reference being taken from the article, which as I have mentioned in the previous lecture. It should be spacious and able to accommodate extra bodies in case of emergency like mass disaster. As per standard requirement, six to eight bodies storage is required per hundred autopsies in a year. And this reference is from the book of the father of forensic medicine of Pakistan, Professor Nasi Barawan. And if there are 1000 autopsy per year in a center, then 60 to 80 bodies capacity is required. This is a big cold storage area. Moreover, prevalent system in the Pakistan is that whenever there is any incident of unnatural death, police goes there and they take the body into their custody and shift it to the autopsy lab. And they, at that time, request for the preservation of the body. And the request for autopsy will be submitted later on when all the legal formalities will be fulfilled. So, for preservation of bodies, ample storage 
place should be available in a topsy lab. These are individual body container freezers. This is another single body container, but they are in a cupboard shape. So storage is basically of two types, short term preservation and long term preservation. In short term storage, the temperature of the freezer is kept from zero to four degrees centigrade. And the arrangement for the long term storage, the temperature is minus 20 degrees centigrade. Zero to four centigrade will not prevent putrefaction and normally for conducting the autopsy bodies, the temperature is this for the routine autopsy. And for an anatomical examination and histopathological examination, it is preferred as minus 20. If we keep the bodies at minus 20, the body will be solidified and will lose its cellular detail and will be difficult to dissect. So for routine autopsy, they are kept as plus four degrees centigrade and minus 20 is for either toxicological purposes or post autopsy when the body has to kept post have to keep post autopsy now the autopsy and the teaching room the area for teaching autopsy room depends upon the number of the students then a storage room is necessary a room measuring 12 into 14 square meter square feet for the materials and other containers, preservatives, plastic bottles, card boxes, envelopes of various sizes, blades, gowns, aprons, rubber gloves, gum boots, and towel should be close to the autopsy room. Then a viscera preparation room is necessary when you collect the viscera for various uh, examination like toxicological analysis or histopathological analysis, then the room where they are prepared for preservation and dispatch that is required. And a room of 12 into 14 square meet, uh, feet for the viscera preparation should be close to the autopsy room. Then a topsy surgeon change room in the toilets. Separate changing room 12 into 14 square feet for male and female autopsy surgeons with bath and shower facilities are required. And 8 into 10 square feet attached toilets for male and female autopsy surgeon should be there. Then paramedic staff rooms, separate rooms, 12 into 14 square feet for male and female paramedic staff with having locker facilities should be available. Then computer room and office, an office of 12 into 14 square feet with all the necessary facilities, having lockers, locker facilities should be there. Then a record room with the cabinets, a room for the maintain, maintenance of the record and storage of the case file should be there. Then doctor's office, a room of reasonable size where the autopsy surgeon can prepare re reports without any disturbance. So summary of this lecture, we have learned what are the essential layout of the autopsy suits and what are the reception area, registration area, storage, autopsy lab, other offices. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.